Also unexpectedly grabbing headlines in round two was Vicious performance against the Melbourne Knights, while Chris Krasinovsky was in the right mood to score as the home team sought to bamboozle the reigning champions. Olympic peppered Frank Juric's goal mouth from all angles. Their attacking brand of football, however, allowed the Knights to run free at the other end, particularly the combination of Joe Spateri and Danny Tiato. After two ordinary seasons with Marconi, Taliadora seems to have regained his confidence with his new club. He figured in all of Olympic's attacking moves and outclassed the Knights in every department. His strength and organisational skills and vision led to the winning goal. It was a perfect 40 metre pass that fell into the path of Trajanovsky. He polished off the move with a little help from Zoran Markovsky. It was enough to bring Olympics travelling supporters to hysteria. Yet Olympic failed to maintain the momentum in the second half. The Knights called on Mark Silly to try and get them out of a hole. He showered Mike Gibson with a series of long-range strikes, but none converted into goals. It's becoming increasingly obvious that the Knights are sorely missing the phenomenal strike rate of Mark Viduka. Last season's Player of the Year scored at an average of a goal a game. His talents would have come in handy as Olympic held on to record the first major upset of the season.